Alright everybody, we're starting here right at the beginning um, with that real famous kind of introduction lick. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the lick, kind of break it down for you, and then I'll show you real quickly the overdub that happens on top of it. Um, but start at the beginning with the opening lick. Okay, so that's kind of uh, the basis for what we're dealing with. And um, what we're doing is we're starting with kind of a descending lick uh, on a couple chords. Real easy. Um, it's basically like a triple stop, but it's the upper portion of an E minor 7 chord. It's like this E minor 7 that you're probably familiar with, but we're not playing that E. So it's just 7, or I'm sorry, 9, 7, 8 on the D, G, and B strings. And then we drop that down to a bar on the 7th fret, and then a bar on the 5th. Uh, I should actually mention, um, we start with an open power chord. An open A power chord, and then it goes into the lick. But that's probably pretty easy, you probably figured that one out by now. Um, so... That's that. And then the next phrase... Two hits on the C uh, on the 5th fret, the barred three strings on the 5th fret, and then two hits on G, which is 3, 4, 5, I'm sorry, 5, 4, 3, and then you kind of strum down through an F chord, you just drop that shape down, and you strum down through an F chord, and then back up through the 1st and 2nd string. So, real slowly, that whole section goes like this. And then... What we're doing... We're kind of sliding... Uh, into the 5th fret on the 4th string. And then real quickly, right after the slide, um, we're playing sort of like a G chord, but we're taking off the third string. So we have basically five, open, three, three. So it's basically like, just like a G power chord. And we hit that twice after the slide. And then we bounce back and forth, we put our middle finger down on the B to make it an actual G chord. And then we bounce back and forth between a sus, a G sus chord. And that's really easy just by adding our pinky to the third string fifth fret. And we kind of bounce back and forth between there. That's the melody, right? That's the overdub that's going to happen later. And then we kind of go to an A power chord, but without the low A, we just hit the double stop of 2nd fret on 4th string, 2nd fret, 3rd string. And then an open power chord. Open A power chord. So that whole thing like that, real slow, sounds like this.
right there. And <clears throat> uh, over that, you have the melody, the, the overdub, which is basically doing the exact same thing as the upper line of this. It's a slight difference, um, but what I'm going to do is I, I've gone ahead and looped the main riff I just played, and now I'm going to play the overdub on top of it. So take a listen to the main riff, and then the second time through, I'll play the overdub. how we started. So we're starting on the on the note G on the third fret first string and we hit it twice and then we pull off from F sharp to E. And then we slide down from F sharp to E on the second string. So we're kind of mimicking. We're kind of doing the same thing and it's kind of like a like a really bluesy, Clapton-y type thing to do. Play one lick, and then play the same thing on another string. So that's the phrase. And then after we slide down to E, we hit a unison. Um, the same note we just slid to, plus the open string above it. into that thing we slided we slid down before now we're sliding up and we hit it twice and then we drop down to three third fret D plus the open E above it and then we slide we hit that twice and then slide down to C so uh, up to there just basically playing with the melody that's already happening. Um, over that part. Where so we're starting D, C, E, A, G, A, um, yeah, uh, C, B, A, G, A, yeah, so that's it. Um, and that's basically the uh, the start to the whole song. You know, um, if you can get the main riff without the overdub, it's going to really kind of solve the problem because the melody's already in there. You know, if you listen to it, it's already there. It's all, it's all there. The only difference is on the overdub, he's kind of playing it um, uh, with a little more accents, sliding in and out of notes and, and that sort of thing. But if you can master that main riff, then the uh, overdub should not be far behind.